KPIX 5's Don Lynn reports this comes on the heels of the 75th anniversary of the Port Chicago explosion. Don? Efforts to exonerate those men went through the House floor. Now the U.S. Senate will get to vote on it. Supporters of those sailors say exoneration is long overdue. So this is a statement. At least it's a beginning. It's a step. Historians say the poor Chicago 50 stood up against discrimination and were wrongfully convicted by the U.S. Navy. Decades later, efforts to remove that conviction are slowly progressing. It's happening and it takes a long time to correct things. On July 17, 1944, African-American sailors were loading bombs and other munitions into two ships. An explosion during the loading process destroyed the ships. Most of Port Chicago, just north of Concord, and killed 320 men. Historians say it was the deadliest home front disaster of World War II. Shortly after the explosion, 50 surviving black sailors refused to go back to work. They had asked for training. They never had training on how to load the munitions or handle the bombs. They were charged and convicted of mutiny. Reverend Diane McDaniel with the Friends of Port Chicago National Memorial and other supporters have been fighting for decades for exoneration. East Bay Congressman Mark Desaunier introduced a bill that passed the House. He says discrimination and racism led to the conviction. By going through this process, recognizing the historical injustice and recognizing it by exonerating these men, men and correcting the record, I think goes a long way. Perfect timing. I mean, this is the week of the 75th anniversary of the explosion. Tomorrow, the East Bay Regional Park and the National Park Service will commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Port Chicago explosion. On Wednesday, the Friends of Port Chicago will hold another event. I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.